Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. Raising money, making friends, seeing the country into it. And Lone Star Rider. Parked at the uh, Cracker Barrel for the night, and I'm headed to Decatur, Texas. And it was a little bit of a messy, rainy day. Was going to park at the RV park nearby, but the hotels here at the OYO was just as cheap. Howdy, y'all. Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the Wise County Courthouse in downtown Decatur, Texas. Let's go check out the courthouse. This is a beautiful piece of architect right here in this courthouse. We'll do a walk around on the outside here. Let's see what this stone here is. This is a time capsule. It's to be opened. It's got a little uh, sundial on it, which is pretty darn cool. It's supposed to be open in 2046 or 48. Yeah, 2048. Very cool. Rooster's Roadhouse. Barbecue, beer, and burgers. That looks interesting. I love the uh, clock up there. And of course, the clock doesn't work. Ouch. Must have got struck by lightning. Uh, they've got a going up the Texas Chisholm Trail sign here. I've seen it at a few courthouses and a few towns. Charles Vernon, Terrell, Randolph Vasey, and Captain George uh, W. Stevens. This uh, courthouse reminds me of an old castle, which is pretty damn cool. <laughs> This is a uh, little veteran's uh, memorial honoring all who served and dedicated to everlasting memory of those from Wise County who made the supreme sacrifice. Not even going to try to pronounce that. This uh, fire escape here looks like it was added later. <laughs> For Wise County Courthouse. Yes, sir. Here is showing some drawings of the courthouse. <laughs> Talking about getting uh, past a checkpoint, that was like going through the airport. Checkpoint is crazy. <laughs> Just different counties have different rules how severity on this check-in stuff they're going through. Let's uh, check out the rest of this courthouse. They said I'm in the basement area. Watch your stuff. That is a tiny elevator. They got uh, pictures of different Judges that have been here. More drawings of the uh, courthouse. This one here shows this is the second courthouse here in Wise County. And this one was the first. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty darn cool. And look at this woodwork. This is pretty damn awesome. All this plexiglass protection for the COVID. Pretty courthouse. Oh. Have you done the picture elevator yet? Yes, I did. That is a tiny elevator. Oh, did you really? 
stuck as a trooper in there, huh? There's a, there's a dent in the top. Yeah. I freaked out because I was in there for like two hours. That was my ass, but I was going to call all that damn thing. <laughs> it's like the death chamber to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assume. Because it is small. Yeah, you got it. My name's Rex, by the way. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you, Tim. You take care. State trooper getting caught in, a, in the elevator. That's a cool story. We got a safe door here. And it's used as an office. Well, that is cool. Here's my motorcycle right over there behind that truck. One more flight. Looks like a jewelry room. Very cool. Look at that clock. I don't think that clock's working. <laughs> no, not working. Get your heart shocked right there. I'm going to leave it. It will save me from going now that other way. Thanks. Guys, I'm probably going to have to put this on one of my favorite courthouses. And it's a small courthouse. Very cool. I uh, really like the, uh, the trooper story. His uh, name is Tim. And being stuck in that little elevator for two hours. It was a, it was a very cool story. really like this courthouse. A lot of uh, neat architect and... Uh, some pretty cool history. I believe this is the uh, fourth or third courthouse. Don't quote me on that. Got a uh, Fuzzy's Taco down here downtown. The Swanky Shack. I don't know what that means. The Grandeur. Uh, there's supposed to be a uh, Coca-Cola mural over here I want to take a picture of also. Very cool. Do I say very cool a lot? I must. Masonic Lodge. Yeah, look at that uh, Coca-Cola mural up there. Very cool. That looks like that was the Majestic Theater. And there's supposed to be another one on the other side here. Oh, yeah. Ah, very cool. Harper Raleigh's Chocolate Factory. That's kind of cool. Howdy, doing good. Huh. You've got a little chocolate place here, huh? Yes, sir. I'm gonna make it in the chocolate. It's lots of fun. Really? Yes. So how does that work? Um, we have open parties on Fridays and Saturdays at seven. Yeah. So you come in and you get this little tray. And then you can do white, dark, or milk chocolate. And we have different foods you can put in there. Huh. Well, so it's only by party because I'm not a very big party. Um, <laughs> on Fridays and Saturdays it's open. So okay. You can just come in, however many people, um, and then we do private parties as well. So. Gotcha. So that would be kind of cool. It's a lot of fun. So. Well, thanks for letting me check out your store here. Let's go check out the, the shoe shop. I mean, not shoe shop. <laughs> Where did I get shoe from? Let's check out the hat shop, the hat store. It's closed on Mondays. It's not open, but looks pretty damn cool in there. Too bad. Maybe we'll come over here tomorrow when they're open. Let's uh, walk around this way. Brandy's Country Kitchen. Open from 6 to 2 every day. 
That's pretty damn cool. It's not two o'clock yet. Six to two. Might get breakfast there. Tomorrow. This place looks like it's gutted out. And it is. We got the floor turned tore up. This one's for lease. Trinity uh, Street Coffee Bar. Look like they're expanding. We're moving over one. An ice cream shop. We are open. Let's check out this. Kind of cool. Ooh, look at those chocolates. An ice cream. We got a bunch of uh, all kinds of drinks. A lot of them look like they're from Dublin. Nice little ice cream shop. Roadster Roadhouse. Barbecue, beer, and burgers. Good place to eat? It is. Great place. Yeah. All right. Till 10 p.m. Might have to check this place out. All right, I'm gonna either have to make my mind up either going to Sweetie Pie's Ribba or Rooster's Roadhouse. All right, that concludes my little tour of downtown. Howdy y'all, let's start right here. I'm here at the uh, Decatur Heritage Museum or the Wise County Heritage Museum. I think it's Decatur. <laughs> which used to be the Decatur Baptist University. And it's a really cool looking building. So let's go check it out. This building here it is absolutely awesome. You got a historical marker and another marker here about Decatur Baptist College from, from 1898 to 1998. And then they have a historical marker here which kind of got the same information. Oh wow, two bucks to get. That's pretty darn cheap. And right off the bat they've got stuff you can see without Harley coming inside. A little uh, camera cabinet. A little fiddle cabinet. A map of ghost towns in Texas. That's kind of cool. Hi, sir. Good. How are you doing? All right. How are you? Doing all right. Got to give somebody some money here. Yeah. I had to switch over to my phone. Battery died on the uh, Osmo Pocket. Um, thought I had it charged up, but I don't. Anyway, this is a pretty cool museum if you ever get a chance to stop by and check this out. Uh, I'm on the fourth floor and I hadn't even got started. So let's look. Got this Hearst here. Very cool. Some uh, stuff about the college here. High school. Yeah, the college. And this college here moved to Dallas afterwards oh look at that Sinclair dinosaur you got this popcorn machine going on here got some organs and pianos going on and a couple of record players the clock is actually correct yep that's what time it is Seen this type piano before, which looks really cool. Square grand piano. Almost looks like Howdy Duty. Large boy doll. I don't know if I'd have him in my house. <laughs> he might become evil and kill me. 
Look at this here. I always like these maps. Shows the businesses and the courthouses and all that stuff. This is definitely a tall oak desk. <laughs> You'd only be standing at this unless you had a really tall chair. I like these little drawers. This is kind of cool. Showing off little knickknacks. Patty wax. Give a dog a bone. Oh, I guess cash register. Very cool. Oh my. All these typewriters. I'll take that back. These are not all typewriters. These are, are uh, calculating machines. Those are typewriters. That's why you should not assume that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, well, look at that. There's a TRS-80. Wow. It's, maybe it's not a TRS-80. Where is this from? North Star Vintage. It's a Kentucky Fried Chicken computer. That's what it says there. See? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's a cool quilt too. <clears throat> My niece Echo would like that. Look at this uh, quilt, Echo. That is absolutely awesome. Got this uh, telephone switchboard here. Now I thought this was a music machine, but that's not what it's saying here. This is a William Hurst generic or machine that generates static electricity wow i was assuming those were symbols and <laughs> sticks but that's not what that is very cool and i guess you end up like this <laughs> if uh you get electrocuted by this thing I'm making stuff up here. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> With them bones <laughs> right under the uh, static electricity machine. But that's pretty darn cool. I would have never have guessed what that was. <laughs> I'll have to ask about the bones. I don't see no history on that at all. Looks like a big, huge pressure cooker to me. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Wood stove. Very cool. I like this room. All right, let's go upstairs. Taking the stairs instead of that little elevator, especially after the story of the uh, from the trooper at the courthouse. Oh, this is cool. I even have a balcony. Very cool. They got a whole lot of panoramic pictures around here too, which is pretty cool. I wonder if they still use this auditorium. Bet they do. This is called the wise guy room. It's right next to the auditorium. Guess what they had going on in the auditorium and dressing rooms. Oh, very cool. I had grease here. Sing along. Watch your step. Behind the stage. Very cool. to the third floor. This museum is huge and very cool. Ah, oh, right into Coolidge. <laughs> this museum is very Coolidge. What are you gonna say? It's my bad joke. Like everything else with this museum, they use all the wall space they can to post things. 
Liberators of the World. I don't remember when that happened. Very sad day. That's pretty cool. A hose cart. You know, they got the harnesses that go over the horses there and they got a, an old style fire helmet there. And some bunker gear. I remember doing this. Snap, snap. I think my uh, gear wasn't too far from this at all. Another uh, room on military. I am on the very top floor and uh, this is probably to the balconies here, this door for the auditorium. It's locked. <laughs> um, the room I was just in is the uh, Sam Sampler room. This room here is the general store, one school room and the uh, chemistry, DBC chemistry. I don't know what that means. The general store. Got this chicken wired off. Butter churn. I don't think I've seen small ones like this. That's pretty cool. Instead of ones with a bucket, you gotta go. Arr. Remember my grandma having one of those. School time. Oh, little Johnny's looking out the window there. Hey, Johnny, get back to uh, work. Got to learn about dinosaurs. Little Johnny there. Hey, Johnny. How you doing? Well, it says Johnny is a, a young boy in a blue suit. Nice. Kathy over there is sleeping. I'm sure of it. Taking a nap. All right, get your mind out of the gutter. This is what you put on cow's teats. All right, guys, if you ever or in Decatur, Texas, or you make your way over here, don't skip the Wise County Heritage Museum. Uh, it's an awesome museum. It only costs $2. <laughs> Wise County and Decatur have a lot of history. A lot of cool stuff going on here, so y'all check that out. You won't be disappointed. Taking a break back at the hotel for a couple of hours. After my break, I headed over to the other side of town to check out the Wood Petrified gas station. And then I had dinner later downtown Decatur, Texas. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the Petrified Wood gas station here in Decatur, Texas. Uh, this little complex here, which is actually part of the uh, Texas Tourist Camp Complex, was on the old Meridian Highway. And the old Meridian Highway starts way down south, way down south near Laredo, somewhere around in there. I'll put it right here and it goes all the way up to uh, to Canada, which is pretty cool. This gas station is lit up every night, the neon is. Anyway, it's really cool. This whole gas station and this cafe over here is uh, all made out of petrified wood. I don't know if the cafe's still open. I know they're not selling gas here anymore. Texas Plaza. All this is made out of stone and petrified wood. I don't know if the whistle 
Stop Cafe is open. We'll have to go over here and check and see. There's no Coca-Cola sign there. There are neons already on here. Whistle Stop Cafe. Monday through Friday. Looks like they're only open for lunch and breakfast. Yep, they're still operating. They're just closed right now. Anyway, this is all pretty darn cool. Uh, one of these days I'm thinking about riding this whole freeway up to Canada. That would be kind of kind of cool, don't you think? Let me know if you think I should do that. <laughs> uh, if you're ever in Decatur, Texas, make sure you stop and check the out the petrified gas station out. And maybe even eat at the uh, Whistle Stop Cafe, uh, which I might do tomorrow morning. I don't know. We'll see. Right across the street from the petrified gas station, the uh, train depot used to be over here somewhere. Got tore down because the city was charging them taxes. Beautiful sunset. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago. For them old days of yore Well let me run through the breeze Like the leaves on the trees Let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well let my mind go serene Like a cool water stream That runs after checking the Petrified Wood gas station, I headed downtown, found this really cool San Clair gas station, and took pictures there, and then I stopped at the uh, Decatur greeting sign and took a few pictures there. I ended up eating at Sweetie Pie's and had their chicken fried steak. It was absolutely awesome. It was a great ending for spending my day here in Decatur, Texas. If you guys are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. Here in Decatur, Texas at the Wise County Courthouse at the Wise County Heritage Museum here at the Petrified Wood Gas Station. For now, the trooper, Tim, the <laughs> ah, start over, uh, at the uh, Wise County Heritage Museum, at the, <laughs> Ooh, in the shadow, Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the Petrified Wood Stace gas station. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the Petrified... <laughs> I can't get Petrified Wood out. Here we go.